Good afternoon, students and staff, and welcome to Fitz News. I am Kayla Caldwell, and today is October 24th, 2018. The show will begin in just a moment. Good afternoon, I am Akaja and let's begin today's show. Attention all members of the Model UN, you will be meeting today at 2.40 in Ms. Cardi's room. This meeting will be t determine who will be attending the first one-day conference. Attention all football players, this is a reminder that equipment and locker cleanout will take place today and tomorrow after school. All football equipment must be turned in by Thursday after school. And also in sports news, boys basketball trials will take place on Monday, November 5th, Wednesday, November 7th, and Thursday, November 8th. In order to try out, you must have a physical on file with your athletic office. Also, you must have a 2.0 GPA in order to try out. Varsity tryouts will begin at 3 p.m. sharp. The fall sports season may be over for some sports, but the girls' volleyball team is still competing. Recently, Fist News reporter Brent Stemkowski had a chance to attend the game last week to bring us some highlights. Let's check out how the team did now. Brent? My name is Brent Stemkowski, and I'm here reporting for Fitz News. Tonight is October 16th, 2018. We are here at the vars Varsity Volleyball game. And tonight, the Fitzgerald Spartans will be taking on the Lincoln Abes. Uh, we were able to catch an exclusive interview with varsity team captain, Charissa Brown, and she was able to sit down with us and answer a few questions. I think tonight's game is going to be a good game. Whenever we play Lincoln, it's always a challenge, so I just know we'll be able to pull through today. We asked Charissa about the season so far. I think the season is going good so far. I mean, we've really grown together as a team. It's really feeling like a family type of vibe, and I think we're doing really good together. There's about four to three games left in the season. We've pretty much finished our season, so. After our exclusive interview with varsity team captain, Sharissa Brown, we were able to capture some highlights of the games. The Fitzgerald Spartans were able to beat the Lincoln Apes three sets to zero. Both teams played very hard and gave it their all. This has been Brent Simkowski from Fitz News, tossing it back to the studio. Great job, ladies. Good luck with the last few games of your season. And now for all students, this Friday is the annual Fitzgerald Truck and Treat. Dress up and bring your little brothers and sisters. Fitz News reporter Logan Smith is standing by Miss Davis. For more information about the event, Logan. Thanks guys. I'm Logan Smith here with Mrs. Davis to gather more information about the Trunk or Treat event. Mrs. Davis, what can you tell us about this event? Well, the event is taking place on Friday, October 26th, the Bart Street lot from 5.30 to 6.30. It's an activity that all our community can participate in. Um, anyone can attend. Most of our organizations and clubs from around the district um, participate by decorating a trunk for their car. Students, staff, um, community members, and children can come and trick or treat basically from trunk to trunk. And um, how, how long have you guys been doing this event here at, um, at Fitzgerald? We've been doing it quite some time. Um, this is going to be my sixth year actually attending the event and possibly hosting a trunk. Thanks, Mrs. Davis. And I'm back to you guys at the studio. Looks like a fun event, and we hope to see you there. Well, that's it for today's Fitz News. We will see you back here on Friday with more important school information.